it's John here with Inspectflix, and in this video we're going to talk about um, general framing on uh, stick built structures and in particular it's going to be load bearing walls. Uh, right now I'm in a basement that has a load bearing wall and um, if you ever notice that the floor joists that go from side to side have to rest on an internal wall which is referred to as a load bearing wall and here you can actually see the other floor joists coming from the other side. So this is referred as a double top plate. So there's two 2x4s two on the top, and then you have your studs. Now, the failures to this wall here is, first of all, when you have a door opening, there's a thing called a header, which is another board member that goes side to side to carry that weight load distribution pushing down, and it carries the load to the sides, which are referred to as the jack studs. So here it's completely missing the header which is what you have over on this door opening. So this header is here, it's resting on the jack studs, however whoever installed this they didn't flush it up to that double top plate. So if you look closely up here you'll see that there's a gap between the double top plate and the actual header. And so this header should have been higher. And so if you look back you'll see that the double top plate is now not level and the floors above will now not be level. And then over here, somebody took out a stud on this load-bearing wall. So you can actually see the nails were in there at one point and somebody had removed the stud. And now that will cause a dip in the floor right in that spot. So like I had mentioned earlier, uh, floor joists have the tendency to push downward on weight load distribution.